Hello folks. Some people seem to have the impression that shotgun microphones amplify distant sound or pick up distant sound more effectively than other microphones. That's not quite right. A shotgun microphone is designed to be less sensitive to sounds coming from the sides or from the rear of the microphone. This can help to reduce the pickup level of surrounding sounds in comparison to the sound that is directly in front of the microphone. This can make the sound that you are pointing the microphone at louder in the recording than the surrounding noise, but that's because it made the off-axis sounds quieter, not because it amplified the sound in front of the microphone. For instance, if you were in a silent space with no background noise, a shotgun microphone of a given sensitivity at a given gain wouldn't make distant sounds any louder than another microphone of the same sensitivity at the same gain. Sound energy radiates out from a source and it spreads out as it goes. The total sound energy spreads out over an ever-increasing area the further the sound travels from the source. This is the primary reason that the perceived volume of a sound source drops as the distance from the source increases. Sound energy is lost for other reasons, but the main change is that the energy is just spread out over a much larger area, so your ear or your microphone is picking up a smaller and smaller percentage of the original sound the further it is from the source. But what if you could collect a large area of sound energy coming from a single direction and focus it all back to a single point? That's where a parabolic dish microphone like this one comes in. This works on a similar principle to a telescope mirror. It reflects sound over a large surface area back to a single point. In this case, a lavalier microphone is positioned at that focal point. So this type of microphone can, in a way, amplify distant sound, making it louder at the microphone capsule. Because of the specific shape and the precise way that it reflects the sound, it will only focus sounds coming from a very specific direction into the microphone. This makes for a very directional and sound amplifying microphone. It's not a perfect solution and there are limitations. For instance, not all frequencies will reflect exactly the same. The particular setup I have here, which is the Sound Shark, can be purchased with a microphone that is specifically tuned for this dish, so it will hopefully give a fairly natural sound. You can also get this dish and just use your own microphone. So that's just a quick overview of how and why this type of microphone works. This Sound Shark is a pretty small dish, and despite the cost, it is relatively inexpensive for this type of microphone. The small size means that it's really not going to be great for super long distances because it just doesn't have enough surface area to be picking up all that much sound. But it still definitely has a lot more surface area than a standard shotgun microphone capsule. So let's see how well it works. I will compare it to this Sennheiser MKE 600 so we can get an idea of how it compares to a shotgun microphone. All right, now I'm outside in my backyard. I'm about four feet from the microphones. I have the gain on the Sound Shark set to 45, and I have the gain on the Sennheiser Shotgun microphone set to 52. So just a little bit higher at this distance to give me uh, similar levels for my voice. Okay, so now I'm closer to about 20 feet away. I have the gain on the Sound Shark turned up a little bit to 50, and I have the gain on the Sennheiser Shotgun mic set to 60 doing my best to get the parabolic mic aligned properly. That is one challenge with this type of microphone. It, since it is so specifically directional, uh, you know, it has to be lined up just right with the sound source that you want to record. Otherwise, it, it will not pick you up uh, fully. All right, now the microphones are about 30 feet away, and I haven't actually changed the gain from the 20-foot setting, so I'll probably have to boost the audio a little bit more. Still just talking normally. 
but I'm now 30 feet away from both of the microphones. There is some background noise this morning. There's, you know, a lot of birds chirping around because it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, there is some distant traffic noise, but I, I find that uh, these microphones, especially the sound shark actually, does tend to pick up a lot of that low frequency rumble from traffic. So we'll see how it does uh, with the microphone 30 feet away from me here in the backyard. The sound shark does well at picking up and focusing mid-range and high-frequency sounds, as well as rejecting off-axis mid-range and high-frequency sounds. But it seems to pick up low-frequency sounds from any direction nearly as well as what it's pointing at. Nearby and even somewhat distant traffic sound uh, gives kind of a rushing noise, almost like a seashell held up to your ear. When a plane passed over in the park, it seemed to pick it up nearly as well as if I was pointing the microphone at it. A high-pass filter helps a little, but it doesn't completely eliminate the issue. Being such a small dish makes it light and convenient to use, though it also limits the useful pickup distance. The sound shark, or a setup like it, could be excellent in certain situations. If I was a bit further from the rumble of traffic and wanted to record birds, other animals, or certain sound effects from a distance, I think this microphone would do very well. Here's some audio from a bird that I recorded from about 50 to 75 feet away. It was on a wire over the street, so the traffic noise was right there, but the sound shark still made the bird sound closer and more defined than the MKE 600 did. If I was in the woods, away from the rumble of road noise, I think this microphone would be awesome for recording bird songs. Especially if there was a specific bird you were trying to record, because in the clips in the park, the sound shark did a good job of minimizing ambient sound like other birds, insects, and leaves rustling. Ultimately, it's a specialized tool that really only shines in specific situations, and not everyone will have a use for a mic like this. Maybe it's just the ticket for you, or maybe you expected something different and you can cross it off your wish list now. Either way, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or if you want me to test anything else out with this microphone, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.